Reinforcement is an absolutely crucial part of operant conditioning and it's very, very important that you mention it in any answer to do with operant conditioning. If we look down in the video on the left hand side there, you can see that the coach there is clapping because the player out of shot has done something well and she's being rewarded for that. It's been recognized and she's been getting some praise. So let's have a look first of all at what the concept of reinforcement is and then we'll look at the different types. So reinforcement then is this action, any action which strengthens the SR bond. You'll remember the SR bond from the previous video is the stimulus response bond. So we're strengthening that bond between the stimulus and the response and by strengthening that uh, that bond, we are also increasing the likelihood of the behavior, which we refer to as the desired response, occurring or reoccurring. So let's just pick that apart a little bit. The learner does the correct thing and the, uh, the coach claps. And that is because we want to strengthen the stimulus and response bond because they carried out the desired response and we want them to do that again. You can see that reinforcement can be positive or negative. What we've just talked about and what we're looking at in the video there is really positive reinforcement where the coach claps a hand um, when the learner does the correct movement. So clapping would be a good example of positive reinforcement. Let's just have a little look at positive reinforcement just now and then in a separate video we'll look at negative reinforcement. So looking at the lady down in the video, she's very happy with us. She's pointing to us. She's smiling. She's pointing me out. She's clapping. She's giving me thumbs up. And I'm really happy about that. And that's because I've done something well and she's recognizing it and she's giving me some praise. Now, the chances are when a learner in a sporting context is learning a new skill and they do something correct and they get that kind of feedback, that kind of praise from the coach, they're going to want to replicate that behavior. So when the coach does something great like thumbs up, claps hands, smiles, etc., these are called satisfiers. And it's the satisfier that serves to strengthen the SR bond. So you can see there, satisfiers are provided to the learner when the desired response, good terminology, occurs. And this strengthens the SR bond. Remember we've just said, if you've done something well and that's been recognized and you've been given praise and satisfied so as you're more likely to repeat that behavior which is exactly what we want as a coach so that's how positive reinforcement works in this case so satisfiers can be any form of praise and they usually as we can see take the form of clapping hands smiley faces thumbs up just what you can see in the video there and you can relate to your own learning you can relate to your own experiences of the way in which your PE teachers and your coaches have responded to you when you've done something well and they want you to repeat that particular movement so positive reinforcement is designed to strengthen the SR bond when the performer carries out a movement which is the desired response